Hey everybody, it's good to be here with you on YouTube today. I cannot wait to share with you one of my very favorite new practice techniques. This is something that I developed because I, for one, have really been missing the chance to paint kid after kid after kid. I feel like when you're on the job and you mess up or you have a little bit of a wiggle, uh, you have to just keep going because there's a next kid in line. But when you're doing it in practice, Sometimes we can stop practicing because we're like, oh, it's not working today, right? I don't know if you feel that way, but I definitely do sometimes. So we are going to be painting with little squares, three by three or seven and a half by seven and a half, depending on if you're measuring in inches or centimeters. And you can see how much fun these are. We're looking to create practice for when we are doing a cheek design or a forehead design or even by the eye. You then take that illustration that you have created and you pair it with a cool wing shape. Or you can do a full mask, but you've practiced that little piece in the middle over and over, whether it's a unicorn or a peacock. So here you can see this cute little llama on a three by three piece of paper. Then I took that llama and I put it right into a mask. So let me take you through one. We want to start with a stack of papers. We don't want to have just one so that if we get in the middle and we don't like it, we can start over. So here's a cute little koala that I did and I'm so excited for you guys to see how I did it. So we're just doing kind of a circle with a little bit of a triangle bump on the top and two ears. Filling those ears in with some pink and a little bit of pink down for the mouth. Now I want to make this a girl, so I'm going to add a bow, kind of Minnie Mouse style, here we go, and super cute, right over by one ear. And you can see that I put in this section for the nose with my gray. I don't really care that that's there, it's just kind of to help me. So we do a dot on either side of that nose and add a little smile. You can see like this is, doesn't have to be hard and you can look for examples in clip art or you know on Pinterest like wherever you find that um, inspiration and then you can just make it real. So I'm just outlining everything doing a little bit here and there and then of course we want to add some white highlights. So we need to add that to the eyes and of course to the bow and we just go in here and we just make it wonderful and happy and I have a lot of freckles and so I love adding freckles to my animals because it's just so cute but you can see that there's just a nice happy little koala now and it go goes so well. We can even add a little collar to it. Sometimes um, the head alone looks a little uh, scary and sad. Um, anyway, and so now we have the little boy koala and the little girl koala and they go together so nice. And then you can just keep going. Set this one aside and get the new one. And then pretty soon, I mean, look what happens. You just end up with all of these animals and you're like, oh, I want to try that. I want to try that. I want to try that. And they just keep coming and they are so fun and they are so sweet. Once you've done a bunch and you're looking for a way to display them, they fit perfectly on a 12 by 12 piece of paper, whether you choose to do nine or 12. I can't wait until you guys make some of your own and I would absolutely love to see them. If you're feeling lonely, please join our group. Learning with Lara up there is also a really fun new thing we're doing where you can exchange some of these. Love you guys. Hope you're having a great day.